Now, live breaking news from KCTV 5 News. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Carolyn Long. That breaking news in Kansas City, Missouri, where an armed robbery suspect led police on a high-speed chase. KCTV 5's Carolina Cruz is live for us now, where it all came to an end. Carolina, I know they're calling this a high-speed chase. How fast are we talking here? Nearly 80 miles per hour, Carolyn, and that was through these city streets, which range between 30 to 35. So those cars were going really fast. That cop car that was chasing that suspect. So what we know is that this all started out this morning when an officer was following up on a report of a carjacking. So he pursued that car. That car didn't stop. And it led police basically pretty, par pretty, pretty far south and then back north. Then on 23rd in Cleveland, that suspect sped through one of the red lights. An officer followed, but that second officer hit a mom and her eight-month-old who had a green light. The officer and the woman were taken to the hospital, were told with minor injuries. That infant was not hurt, but is being evaluated at the hospital. Officers did try deflating the tires of that suspect, but at those speeds of nearly 80 miles per hour, we're told that it made that tactic really difficult for it to actually work. As that pursuit continued to 39th and Prospect, the suspect hit another car, uh, this time after they passed a red light, and we're told that the driver of that car was taken to the hospital. So at this point, police say the suspect car was smoking after having hit that car on 39th and Prospect. And they finally stopped near 49th and Olive. They surrendered and were taken into custody. And Sergeant Bill Mahoney says that they don't ever want anyone to get hurt, but today's pursuit was necessary. There's danger for everyone. There's danger for our people as well. And for that reason, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a decision anyone enters into lightly. We only will have a, a chase of this magnitude for something very dangerous. We're, it's so dangerous that we just can't let this individual get away. Yeah, police have not released the name of that suspect yet. We are told that everybody that was involved and was hurt today is expected to be okay. And Sergeant Mahoney did have one additional tip. He said that he doesn't think anybody broke any loss today as far as those citizens that were hurt in all of this. But he says if you do hear any sirens, just make sure that you pull over, even if you don't see any of those emergency vehicles, just out of precaution. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, very good reminder. Carolina, thank you for that.